Even in this heat wave, lightning is a possibility this weekend. It's in the forecast. And with that, fire officials are preparing for the potential of new wildfires. KC 24's Hannah Gonzalez is live outside of the Cal Fire substation in Sanger. Han Hannah, what are you learning tonight about all this? Well, Eric, you'll remember the June complex fire in the basin fire were caused by lightning. Now, Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magsig says this time if a fire starts, it could be much worse. One of the benefits that we had is it started so early in June that there still was a lot of moisture in a lot of the fuels. With our prolonged heat drying up any moisture left, if a fire does start, it will move faster at higher elevations. With just one lightning strike, it only takes one. The county is working closely with Cal Fire and the U.S. Forest Service to keep a close eye if anything sparks. Cal Fire says they are increasing their staff and equipment for the possibility of additional fires. We're all working together to do all that we can to try to protect people's lives as well as property. One of the most explosive fuels in Fresno County is the nearly 30 million dead trees in the forested area. Never live your life in fear, but always prepare and be ready. Those who live in the foothill and mountain areas can help fire crews by creating defensible space around their property. You never want to have fuels up close to your home. Cal Fire suggests keeping your lawn mowed about 100 feet from your home. There are resources available for private property owners through the Sierra Resource Conservation District. They receive state grants and other private grants as well from time to time, but they will go out and help to harden private property. And be sure to have a go bag ready with essential items like documents and medication.